long as you got your eyes Got your trippy on them private dress Taking trips, come back What's up, Chris? It's your girl, Jay. As you're out of time, today's video is going to be an updated Q&A. And this is really, like, not no deep questions, y'all. Because I feel like the first time I did, like, a Q&A type stuff, I was oversharing, like, a mug. <laughs> I'm not doing that again because that's cringy. But, y'all, I think I'm wondering. Well, y'all probably not, but I'm going to tell you anyway. This pen is from my induction today, y'all. I got induction in Pagam Mu, which is a honor society for basically social sciences. And I'm a psychology major, so that's a part of that and yeah i'm just really grateful for the opportunity and i'm grateful for that i'm going to be in a club where it's like all our stuff is really based on our community service and serving others because that's really part of my purpose in my opinion but um yeah that was good that was today y'all and then with my braces i have a christmas sale going on right now so my website is going to be in the description down below if you buy two you get one mystery bracelet free so yeah, I, I think I should get on that because ten dollars for three bracelets, like be for real, and they cute. Like, stop playing. All my beaded bracelet girlies, get on that. But anywho, I'm not gonna be talking all day because I hate when people say it's a Q and A and then be doing all the talking. So let's get into the questions. <laughs> okay, the first question say, "Yo, gang, how you been? What's up, gang? <laughs> um, I've been good on some shit, like." I'm just starting to notice a lot of stuff within myself I need to fix type stuff. So really, it's like I'm buckling down on myself, really trying to get deep into my goals and what's going to help my future before we go into this next year. Because I'm finna graduate from college and I refuse to be falling into the same patterns as people before me type shit. Like, I'm going to be great type shit. So yeah, I've been good. Just trying to keep my mental right. Stay away from toxicity. All that, you know. Uh... What's your dream occupation? To be a YouTuber, period, and business owner. Like, I'm going to be doing both at the same time. Um, Although I am going to school to be a family counselor and, like, build up to do that, if YouTube was to blow up, I'm going to use my platform to help people. I don't have to be sitting across from nobody counseling. You feel me? Like, that's just how I feel. But anywho, next question is, favorite childhood artist or band? Oh, yeah, I'm reading these off of what I screenshot off Instagram, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Favorite childhood artist or a band? When I was a kid, I liked Brandy. I I was really like a pop girly back then. So like Brandy, Kesha. Um, who else did I like? I was kind of old school too, y'all. Oh, they said favorite. Brandy. I was so obsessed, y'all. I put on my notebooks that my name was Moesha and everything. Like I, I had a Brandy obsession like real bad. But yeah, Michael Jackson too. Like that's that's my top two biggest fears. Um, losing my mom. That's the only fear I have. Really, I don't go through life with fear. I don't like driving type stuff, but it's not really a fear. It's just when I do it. Well, it is a fear. <laughs> it is a fear driving and losing my mom. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna start back driving eventually. But y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Getting in a wreck is kind of traumatizing because it's like I'm a control freak. I like to be in control. So when you're driving, you only look out for yourself and your skills everybody else that's only on them so it's like i think that's why it bothers me so bad but yeah favorite childhood cartoon sorry y'all i got a weird notification um favorite childhood cartoon the only correct answer for this question if you ask anybody is spongebob in my opinion spongebob is number one always will be period okay what's your comfort food and show comfort food hmm Hmm. that's a good one actually like is comfort food considered like well what you eat for comfort okay damn i don't think i have a comfort food on some shit like hmm. damn that's actually a good question because i never think about this um comfort food comfort food i don't really eat for comfort like i overeat when i'm stressed type stuff but if we talking about a food that I can always turn to no matter what. And I won't get tired of it. Maybe a loaded potato. I always make loaded potatoes. Like, that's just my, like... I don't want to say struggle meal. Because it be shit on it that's not, like... They so I'm not struggling. But, <laughs> but it's, like, my meal for when, you know... I ain't really got shit. Um, comfort show. Spongebob. Honestly. If you could change something about your daily life, what would it be? Um, I would make myself rich. Of course. Like... Don't get me wrong, I'm not just down bad on no stuff, but like, 
about my daily life i would change the fact that my youtube not popping i'm not making money off this like <laughs> on some shit because if i'm making money everybody around me gonna eat and that's just gonna be like you know i'm just i'm just gonna share the wealth once i get to where i need to be like nobody in my circle is gonna struggle and i stamp that like i stamp that for real anywho i would just say how much money i have period <laughs> What do you look for in a partner? <laughs> okay, let me think for real, y'all. <laughs> I'm showing the fuck out this gum. I would like for you to be loyal, honest, God-fearing, kind. Um, I want you to be a good communicator. I want you to be open, open-minded. I want you to be supportive. Um... Overall, just treat me how you want me to treat you on some shit. Like, honestly. But, yeah. I feel like I already found it. So, let's go to the next question. What's your main goal in life? Um, To be successful, I don't feel like once I get to where I know I can be in life, my mama's going to have to work. So, retire my mama, of course. Period. Actually, she might retire herself <laughs> when I graduate. So, let me just say, make sure my mama is straight after retirement and um, be happy on some shit. Like, I want a beautiful family. Um, I want my relationship with God to grow. I don't want my family to be like, y'all know how people grow up in the church and like they really be close to God. And then like you look at their kids and it's like, dang, you would never think. I don't want that. I want my whole family to go to church together. I want us to pray to God together. I want us to be really just locked in on some stuff like I experienced that with um my own immediate family and stuff like going to church together, you know, having a great bond. But I just want that time ten. Like I want us to do stuff together, experience life, travel, like everything. Like I want my kids to know like it's so much more to life than just BS, you know. If you were an animal, what would you be and why? <laughs> I'll be a giraffe because <laughs> No, seriously, seriously. Get it together. <laughs> I'll be a giraffe because for one, that's my favorite animal. And two, they stand high. Like they can see everything. Like I feel like I'm hella observant. So I'm comparing that to the height of a giraffe. Like they see the world in the uh in the light from a perspective we can't see. And I feel like I do that too sometimes. Like shit that pe other people don't peep, I peep type shit. Like I just feel like, yeah, not even in no cocky way, like, oh I'm above everybody, but I'm very observant. I'm very like non-confrontational you barely see giraffes fighting and when they do they look dumb as hell that's how i be feeling anytime i conflict with anybody i feel dumb because it's like why am i even beefing with you like be for real anywho what's your favorite perfume at the moment i don't have one honestly i just go through whatever i got <laughs> but victoria's secret got some fire perfume lying um when was the last time you did it <laughs> she pissed me off because don't ever ask me that that's personal like that's personal i wouldn't even get on youtube and say that <laughs> why would she ask that i'm gonna get on her ass after this um how long you had your locks they just made a year and i'm fucking with it i'm fucking with it i feel like a bad bitch i ain't gonna lie what's something about this generation you fix um the narrative that everybody is replaceable. I feel like in this generation, we don't ever want to put up with nothing. We don't ever want to stick through anything. And that goes for me, too. I had my moments where it's like I've had good people around me, but because of what I was dealing with, I didn't stick through it and like really fight for a good bond on some shit. Like I feel like with us in relationships, we don't fight for the love we, you know, could have. Like how i'm trying to say this y'all healthy love ain't something that just pop up healthy like everybody got their own trauma and issues that come from either how they was raised what they've been through in relationships blah, blah, blah. so everybody's gonna come with something it's just do you love that person enough to fight through their something and get to who they really are type of shit and i'm not saying struggle for love i'm not saying suffering like struggle love ain't cute i'm not saying you should suffer for nobody to give you love get cheated on get lied to all that no no all that no no that just shows they ain't ready at all but if somebody ready and they just got their issues that they need to work through i say stick beside them if y'all really in love stick beside them you feel me but anywho what else would i fix about this generation 
I don't know. I love the fact that with our, with our generation, we don't really care about what other people think. We go after what makes us happy. So that's also positive. I can say a negative and a positive. Um, what's, what's one piece of advice? Damn, I can't read. What's one piece of advice you would give your younger self? Stop giving a fuck. Like, <laughs> honestly, stop caring what other people think about what you got going. You are you for a reason. And they don't understand you because they're not on your level. Like, simple as that. Stop giving a fuck about other people's opinion. <sighs> and that's that on there, y'all. I'm going to do one more question. Because I don't want this video to be too dragged out. Um, how do you feel about everything that you went through this year? I put myself through... Um, Oh, shit. I'm struggling. That's all you know. I put myself through way more shit this year than I had to go through. If I would have just loved myself, half of my year would have been completely different. So I am going to say I'm going into 2024 with a different mindset, with a different level of commitment to God and just chasing after who he really wants me to be instead of trying to create who I want to be. You feel me? You always going to mess up when you sit here and try to overdo it and overthink and be like, oh, I don't want to be like this because this got me played with and this got me this and da da da. Stop changing yourself because of what you've been through. Like, that's one thing I would say to myself, like chase after what god wants you to be not what this world wants you to be because the world always gonna lead you wrong simple as that okay one more y'all because that was actually good <laughs> i keep saying one more but for real one more one more um what are you looking forward to in 2024 my business growing i feel like because of the fact i'm not so distracted by outside sources and toxic relationships and toxic people and you know all the other stuff my business is really gonna reflect it like I'm locked in for real. Like, I'm locked in. <laughs> Why am I so goofy today? But no, seriously, I'm locked in for real and I want it bad. So it's like, I'm not losing. Like, 2024 is just my year of winning. It's my winning season. Everything that's meant for me is going to be for me. And I'm going to have it and I'm not going to lose it. Period. Because, like, in other years, God would bless me. But because, like, my mental wasn't straight i couldn't really fully accept the blessings or i couldn't really appreciate them so you know i didn't i didn't get the full potential of what the blessing could have been if that makes sense like and that's not even just financially but i ain't gonna get all into my business <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna be ready for everything that i'm praying for this year that's the difference that's the difference and don't play with that girl but yeah that's all for this video y'all <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all next video. <laughs>